Hi guys, welcome to my channel and my new video. So here you are going to learn loads today. So if you are new, do subscribe and press, press the bell icon and uh, like and share this video also so that this can reach maximum number of people. So let's get started. So guys, so let's start with today's video. I have picked three questions here that is from A to 2004, 2004 again and one of 2002. So all these three questions can be uh, just solved with one mantra. Uh, well, many more, not only these three actually. So let's see what is that mantra. Before that, let's read the question. If one of the lines given by 6x square minus xy plus 4cy square equal to 0 is this line 3x plus 4y equal to 0, then what is the value of c? So now let's see what is the mantra. That is divide by x square. This is very important, right? So how does that help? How does uh, dividing by x square help us? So let's see. Let's divide by x square. Uh, so we'll get 6 minus uh, xy by x square is y by x. So y by x plus 4c y into y by x whole square equal to 0. Now before I proceed, let me tell you one thing. This is of the form ax square plus 2hxy plus a by square equal to 0. This represents pair of straight lines. Pair of straight lines and especially they pass through origin. Pass via origin. So this is the condition if it is in this form. If there are any other terms then they do not pass through origin. But in this case they do pass through origin. So that helps us right. So any line which passes through origin will be of the form y is equal to mx. Right. And uh, very coincidentally, let's, uh, we are getting y by x here. So y by x equal to m, right? So this is nothing but slope of the line. If, you, if we solve for the quadratic equation, we'll get two values and those two are the slopes. So let's proceed. I'll just write it in uh, our normal form. 4c into y by x whole square minus of y by x plus 6 equal to 0. Now the, uh, we need the value of c, right? And uh, we know one of the slopes is... Uh, this in that we'll get y by x is equal to minus uh, 3 by 4 minus 3 by 4 so one of the slopes is minus 3 by 4 out of this equation right so let's substitute uh, minus 3 by 4 over here 4c into uh, 3 by 4 that is whole square that is uh, 9 by 16 minus of minus will become plus 3 by 4 plus 6 equal to 0 right so 4 4 the, that is 9c by 4 plus 3 by 4 plus 6 equal to 0. Let's take LCM 9c plus 3 plus 24 equal to 0 if I send the 4 also the other side. So 9c equals to minus 27 and c is equal to minus 3 right. This is so simple right. Uh, minus 3 will be our answer. So let's get to the next question. This will be similar to. So the question says if the sum of the slopes of the lines given by this is 4 times the product. So what do they say sum of the slopes. So sum of slopes will be m1 plus m2 is 4 times the product is equal to 4 m1 m2. So that is all they say. So first before we proceed let's divide by x square. So if I divide the equation by x square I will get 1 minus 2c times y by x minus 7 into y by x whole square equal to 0. If I write in the normal form uh, in the sense our general way y by x whole square there will be a 7 plus 2c into y by x minus 1 equal to 0 right they are telling m1 plus m2 is equal to 4 times m1 m2 what is m1 plus m2 from our equation minus 2c by 7 equal to 4 times uh, product of the slope that is c by a uh, minus 1 by 7 into minus 1 by 7 right 7 and 7 gets cancelled the minus and minus gets cancelled I will be left with 2c is equal to 4 and hence I get c is equal to 2 this was really too simple right just that mantra that is divide by x square this is the first thing you have to you're, you're supposed to do so let's see the next question it says the two lines represented by 3x square plus 5xy plus a square minus 2 into y square equal to 0 are perpendicular then uh, what uh, then what can be the values of a? I mean how they are that is what they are asking so the same thing here, let's divide by x square. So we get 3a plus 5 times y by x plus a square minus 2 times y by x whole square. I'll write it the other way. a square minus 2 times y by x whole square plus 5 times 
y by x plus 3a equal to 0 right so what are they saying the lines are perpendicular represented by this that is m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 that is all they say we know right what is m1 m2 that is uh, c by a that is uh, 3a by i am sorry yeah 3a by a square minus 2 is equal to minus 1 right so 3a is equal to minus a square plus 2 right so a square plus 3a minus 2 equal to 0 we don't have to find the values of a let's just check the discriminant whether uh, uh, what is the nature of the discriminant so d is equal to b square minus 4ac right so 9 minus of minus plus 4 to the 8 that is 17 which is greater than 0 hence there are two values of a and that will be our answer thanks for watching this video